Hey everybody, it's Nicola here. Welcome to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Today is the fishing tourney. So I'm going to be doing some fishing today, unsurprisingly. <laughs> now we have a letter here from Wishy the Star, because yesterday evening actually was a meteor shower. And if you press A to pray when a star goes past, you actually get a little present. So, to star wisher Nicola, you whispered a wish to a shooting star, didn't you? I heard it loud and clear. Let me answer your little request now. It will surely come true for you. From Wishy the Star. Oh, well, thank you very much, Wishy the Star. <laughs> you are very kind. Alright, so let's check out what we got here. We got... A captain's monitor. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, today's the fishing tourney and that's the main focus of today and all the animals are out with their fishing poles all ready to go here. How are you doing in the fishing tourney? I need to make a trip to retail later to recycle all my catches. <laughs> Alright, well, it looks like Dina's out having fun. I think I saw Becky over the bridge here. Uh, Muffy's inside her house, I guess she's not really up for fishing. But anyways, I certainly am, so let's head over to the plaza to meet Chip. Welcome, welcome, welcome! First fishing tourney, right? Today's tourney is all about landing a horse mackerel. Whoever catches the biggest horse mackerel wins. When you eventually catch yourself a horse mackerel, bring it to me and I'll measure it for you. Every time you break a first place record, I'll give you something good. So, try your best to get first place. Alright, so from 9 until 6, the fishing tourney is on. So, in this particular one, we have to catch horse mackerel. Sometimes he'll ask you to catch a specific type of fish. Otherwise, it'll just be like a free-for-all, you know, biggest fish or whatever. So, the fishing tourney, you're basically playing for a trophy, like first, second, or third place. So it's always nice to get the first place. However, there are other rewards that are a little bit more important. Uh, hey, Groucho, how you doing? Mm, you don't like- you don't look like you're feeling the pressure at all. Whoa, don't tell me you already got something big. Oh, that's right. I just remember something I have to do. I don't have time to stand around shooting the breeze with you. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> you have to try and catch some prime fishes. Yeah, so we have um, some other objectives really behind the fishing tourney aside from just winning it. Um, we can actually get pieces of furniture from uh, the fishing set, I guess. I don't know what it's officially called, but basically every time you break, break your record you get a, a reward from this uh, furniture set. So you want to kind of tactically hand in your fish so that you start with the smallest one and then go up. Oh hey! Speak of the devil. <laughs> a horse mackerel. Holy mackerel! Okay, so this is 12.85 inches. So I'm gonna have to get out a notebook and write this down and remember, okay, uh, the first fish is, you know, 12.85 and carry on. So really, I'm probably not gonna be showing a lot of this. Um, in fact, before I catch another fish, let me just write this down a second. Okay, I've written it down so I shouldn't forget now, I just didn't want to catch another possible horse mackerel and be like, oh gosh, which one was it? So yeah, basically you want to hand in your fish from smallest to largest under whatever conditions Chip has set you, in my case, horse mackerel, uh, which is a reasonably common fish. So we should be okay here to get a few good catches in. Is this a horse mackerel? It is. Let's see how big it is. 14.6. Alright, so bigger. So basically, uh, this is me for like the next however long I can be bothered to try and catch a bunch of horse mackerel. So um, I'll see you in just a second. I'm just going to write down this fish and do a couple things and I will be right back. Oh hey, look who's here, Wolfgang. You joining in the fun? Is it, is it better to patiently stay in the same spot or should you try a bunch of different spots? I think everyone has their own way of doing things. I'll just say this, if you don't see a fish's shadow, then there ain't fish to catch. Sure thing, bro, like, you are hot on it today, aren't you? <laughs> Anyways, another thing that happened today that I just found out actually is... <gasps> There's another villager is going to be moving in. Patty's house was right here, so we have another person down here. Apparently they like re living really close to the cliff, but I'm not going to read it. I'm going to wait until tomorrow, but it's quite nice. Like It's aligned with uh, Dina's house here, so uh, yeah, this should be interesting. We have another new person. Did they take out my apple tree? Yeah, they took out my apple tree. This is why it's always a good idea to have like some fruit like in your wardrobe at home. So, I mean, that in real life, probably not, but in Animal Crossing you do, because sometimes villagers can move in on your precious plants and trees that you've worked so hard to grow and you don't want to lose any of that progress. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, 
So yes, until 6pm I will be fishing. Uh, however, I'm not sure if I'll be around to watch the ceremony on this particular fishing tourney, so I might just have to tell you the results another day and I'll get a letter in the post if I win and it'll be posted on the notice board as well. However, I might have time to come back later, we shall see. Anyways, let's chat to Becky here, see how she's doing. Think you can beat me out for that top spot on podium? Think again, Nicola. Ooh, them's fighting words. Alright, well I got some flower watering to do, as always, and something on the board here. Uh, attention customers, today from 6pm all items in the store will be half price. Ooh. I guess I'll wait off on uh, buying my stuff for today from Timmy and Tommy's. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, um, I'm still a little bit short on cash for getting the dream suite. I am still working on it. However, I'm only about 100,000 bells away. So tonight, when it turns like 8pm, I will hop over to the island and I will make that final bit of cash and start building the project. Uh, so it'll take a little while to obviously come in, but as soon as it's built, I'll let you know and I'll tell you my uh, dream suite address as well so you can come visit the town. Although I feel like I need to do a little bit of beautifying to be honest, like I'm really happy with like the shape of the town and everything and I have a lot of ideas in my head but I haven't really implemented anything thus far. I think one of the first things I want to do is plant some flowers around everyone's houses and colours and like styles that kind of suit them. So like for Muffy I might get some like black flowers and purple flowers, like that would be quite cool, although I don't think I have any black ones. I think I did have some black roses but they might have wilted, I'm not sure. But yeah, I might try and grow some flowers sort of equal to the villagers' sort of personality or colours or the look of their house. Like for Wolfgang I'll probably get him some blue and orange flowers to go with his awesome shirt. Uh, something that he actually has in common with Robert, my favourite character, is him and Wolfgang both wear Gracie's shirt as a default, and it's a freaking awesome shirt. I mean, look at that. So yeah, I might uh, get him some maybe orange and blue flowers, like I said. So yeah, that's just probably one of the first like little things that I'll start working on, because I don't really have to like show me doing that necessarily, because it will take a while to breed all the flowers. However, I think it'll look nice when it's all done, and I do want to start uh, planting some more fruit trees because right now all I have is the cherry which is the my town's national fruit? <laughs> national? Are we a nation? I'm not sure. Uh, native fruit, there's the word. Um, so yeah I have the cherry and apple and that's it so I'm probably going to send some letters out to the villages of my town because quite often they will send you back a piece of foreign fruit and I may also do some mini games on the island just to start getting some coconuts as well because we have bananas on our island but I would quite like some coconuts so anyways let me head back over to Chip and just see what the actual record is right now for the horse mackerel. Oh it's my fisher friend, catch something for me yet? Uh, no not right now but can you tell me who's in first place right now? Dina. 17.2! Holy crap! That's huge! Aww. I guess there's not much point in me donating this stuff then, huh? I say donating. He literally takes the fish and eats it. <laughs> so let's just give him the smaller one here for now and see what he says. Okay, a horse macro, right? Let's just have a look at the look here. Yep. Aww. Yeah. Well, at least he gets a nice meal, huh? Well, I got my work out for me this time. I mean, really, ideally you want to start like first thing in the morning before anyone's actually put any entries in because that way you can sort of make the most of it. But I'm not in a huge rush to, you know, collect the fishing item set. Like, there's many, many fishing tourneys during the year, so we have plenty of time to collect this set. Hopefully I'll get a couple of pieces today. That would be cool. And speaking of my house, I was maybe thinking of upgrading it soon, but right now I'm focusing on the dream suite. Like, I have actually paid the loan off, so all I would have to do is go in and talk to Nook, but um, I'll leave it a couple more days because all I really have to add to my house is like a table, which would take up a little bit of room. So I might just once again <laughs> hold off on the furniture and stuff, which is a little bit boring, I know, but it's kind of just how I do things. Like, half of me with Animal Crossing is like, I really want to make a lot of progress all at once and the other half of me as well I just want to sit back and enjoy this for as long as possible because for me like 
the early stages in Animal Crossing are always the most fun. Like, I get such a thrill out of starting a new game and, like, the first couple of weeks are just, like, incredible because you're trying to achieve all these little things. And to me, that's probably where the most enjoyment is. Of course, being, like, a completionist myself, um, I do like to, you know, get the most out of games, but with Animal Crossing there's just something so sweet about starting afresh. And uh, I'm just heading into kicks here because I was wanting some shoes. I could have done with these green ones yesterday, right? For Or the day before, for um, St. Patrick's Day. Oh, sorry, Shamrock Day. Um, I actually have everything else in here. Uh-oh, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, we're back. Um, the sneeze has been sneezed. Sneezled. Alright, well, not matching kicks. I'm just gonna go explore Able Sisters, actually, because we do have a small addition to the shop. Uh, not in this side, but in the other side. Ooh. Oh man, we have a crown here. Oh, I could totally like... <laughs> I could just grind for bells and try and get this, but nah. The royal crown, that's a pretty good choice. Uh-huh. 1.2 million bells. No, I'm fine for now. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I'm not, I'm not paying that right now. One day I'll have to. One day I'll wish it was in my shop and I'll be like, oh, there was that one day back near the beginning when I had it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the new thing actually over here is this. The QR machine. Uh, yeah, big sewing machine. Oh, well that's very sweet. Uh, so yeah, basically we can create designs, turn them into QR codes to scan and scan other people's designs and all that stuff. And this is really pretty. I am so buying this. Yes please, I'll take it. <laughs> so beautiful. This on the other hand, not oh, so beautiful. <laughs> not really my thing. Anyways, I'll come back later on to buy all the rest of the clothes in here like I always do. Same with uh, the gardening store and we may, we could maybe pop into TNT Mart just to see if they have any cool furniture in. So yeah, um, I know it's the fishing tourney today but like I said I probably won't be able to actually see the ceremony for the results however I'm going to try my best to win. Uh, ooh, a teddy bear, a panda bear. A baby panda, yes please. See I need to upgrade my house guys and need to put my plushie collection in it. <laughs> That's all I really need. Alright, well thanks Tommy, I'll be back in later to buy stuff, you know me. Good thing this store op opens so late actually. Ooh, what time is that now? 3pm. Alright, cool. Well, I only have a few hours left of the fishing tourney so I should probably get on it and um, stop the video for today. So yeah, I'll be sure to let you know which uh, place I come in, if at all. Um, and if I get some cool pieces of furniture from the, the fishy set. So yeah, good luck guys. Uh, hope the best, may the best animal win. I of course am too an animal, I'm a human, but I'm still an animal like you all. So yeah, although if I lost to Wolfgang I wouldn't mind because he's pretty badass. So, uh, <laughs> how you doing bud? Oh, you're just saying the same thing? Boring. Alright, well anyways, I'll just uh, end off here. I'm going to be doing some fishing and I will let you know the results. And I'm not really sure when I'll be back, probably when I've built the Dream Switch, which should be I should be paying off tonight like I said, so that would be really cool if I could achieve that. So I'll be sure to let you know when it's done and let you know the code as soon as possible. So that is it for today, so thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next video.